A few years ago, I posted a video titled, Where Did Jesus Say I Am God, Worship Me? That video, like so many of my other videos, now has over a million views. But what's interesting about that video is that it was based on a tract I had made years earlier. When we would hand out tracts at the Dearborn Arab Festival or at other gatherings, I usually preferred making my own tracts specifically geared towards Muslims. Since Ahmed Didat and Zakir Naik trained Muslims to ask Christians, where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me, I thought it would be nice to respond with a tract. So I made this, and we passed out copies of this tract to thousands of Muslims. In fact, one of the coolest things ever happened when we were passing these out. My friend Paul and I went down to the annual Islam Day parade in Manhattan. We were handing out tracts to Muslims as they were leaving the parade. This is the same Paul who got arrested with me and Nabil in Dearborn. Paul is Egyptian, so he looks Arab. He was across the street from me handing out this tract. And I eventually saw a young Muslim in full Islamic gear handing out tracts in the same area. So it looked like they were having a tract battle. After the parade was over and everyone had left, I asked Paul about the Muslim who was passing out tracts. Paul said that he had handed the young Muslim this tract. The Muslim walked away, then came back and said, Yeah, see? This is what I keep telling everyone that we need to be asking Christians. You got any more of these? He thought Paul was a Muslim, and he assumed, without bothering to read past the title, that this was a Muslim tract, and he wanted to help spread the word. So Paul handed him a giant stack of tracts, and that young Muslim spent the afternoon defending the deity of Christ without knowing it. Good times. Again, the tract is designed for Muslims. I basically take passages from the Quran and the Old Testament, showing that Allah and Yahweh make certain claims that only they can make. And then I quote Jesus in the New Testament, showing that he made the same claims about himself. When Jesus makes the same claims about himself that Allah and Yahweh make about themselves, it becomes pretty difficult for our Muslim friends to reinterpret the words of Jesus. Muslims are thus forced to say that Jesus really didn't say these things and that the Bible has been corrupted. So I include a section at the end which shows that the Quran affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of the Christian scriptures. If our scriptures have been corrupted, the Quran is wrong. Some people ask me why I include verses of the Quran in English and Arabic at the beginning of my tracts, along with a note at the bottom that says, this pamphlet contains verses of the Quran in English and Arabic. Please do not dispose of it improperly. Why would I say that? Funny story. Years ago, when Christians would go to the Dearborn Arab Festival or to other events and we would pass out tracts, by the end of the event, there would be tracts all over the ground, thousands of them. Muslims would take a tract. Then when they realized what we had handed them, many of them would just throw it on the ground. So, we started adding a Quran verse in Arabic, along with a warning not to dispose of the tract improperly, because any sincere Muslim wouldn't dare throw a verse of the Quran on the ground where it will be trampled on. Now we can hand these out all day long, and there won't be any on the ground. Muslims don't know what they're supposed to do with it, but they know that they're not supposed to throw it on the ground or in the garbage, so they take it home with them. Be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Anywho, to celebrate my Where Did Jesus Say I Am God Worship Me video reaching a million views, I'm making this tract available for download. If you only need a few, you can print copies on your printer and fold them up. If you want several hundred, you can always go to Staples or Office Max. They've got a machine that will fold them up for you. If you want thousands, there are websites that will print 10,000 at a time for a few hundred dollars. How do you use them? Well, you can pass them out to Muslims, or you can just keep one in your wallet or purse in case you're in a conversation with a Muslim and you want to read through some of the verses with him or her. You can also have a bunch of them printed up and donate them to a ministry that distributes materials to Muslims. I'm sure you can come up with some creative ways of getting these into the hands of Muslims. 
I have several more tracks I'll be making available for download. If you'd like to use this one, the link to the PDF file is in the description box. Happy witnessing.